All right, so that was me playing with clipboards. Main takeaways. Look at me, look at me. Please like me. And now let's dive into part three of architectural dir. In this video, we will be discussing some bricked up archways or partial arches or very derpy archways and doors which are positioned halfway up a wall or in some way positioned very strangely or possessing some strange characteristic or detail which makes the beholder very skeptical or at least makes me very skeptical so Without further ado, let's look at a bunch of images of weird doorways that are uh, solid in the middle and often are halfway up a wall. And to kick this off, I'm going to let a slideshow play for the next five minutes or so with no commentary. If you don't see anything noteworthy about some of the images, don't worry. I just want to show them in a condensed format first to give you an intuitive visual sense of the subject and then afterwards I'll be going through and commenting on each image in more detail.
cool song, huh? I dig it, at least. Okay, I'm gonna go through all these images and put my two cents in as to how these places got this way, and I'll be pointing out some of the more dubious, weird details. Okay, so Paratayata, Spain. We have this bricked up archway. Now, obviously, we have the conventional possibility of multiple eras of construction, restoration, renovation, multiple cultures, uh, damage from war or battle, all kinds of stuff, just regular weathering and wear and tear. So I just want to first acknowledge that all that stuff may very well be at play and for sure is to some degree. Um, all right. First off on this one, this is almost a partial archway or like a indecisive start and stop or just an oddly jutting out stone, but that's not super definitive, not a strong example, but where you see stuff like this, like this archway and uh, the bricks and okay, so it's bricked up in the middle, so it used to be a door and then it got bricked up, um, or they changed the layout of the place or whatever. And what I wonder with some of that, the repurposing um, explanation, I wonder why they left the archway there. Why did, if they were repurposing and reformatting and resurfacing the wall, why would they leave part of it here and then just block it up? Maybe it's easier, but Seems like it'd be easier to just knock the whole thing down, including this former doorway, and then just fill it in with new material. Uh, I could be wrong though, I'm no expert on construction, but this one is, um, especially since it's at ground level, I could see it being potentially legit, but I still don't think it is based on some of the other examples. It's just a very strong through line in many of these sites, just the bricked up archway and many variations of it, or blocked up by stones or whatever. Okay, so next image is in Spain, walls of Tarragona. And there's so much with this image, it's hard to even know where to start. We've got all kinds of weird stuff going on with the stone. Here's one blocked up archway up here or little mini window or doorway. We've got indications of possible other ones over on this side. Uh, certainly right here, there's half of one and blocked up in the middle. And then next to it right here, there's a window with like half of this cavity is bricked up or filled with masonry or stonework. And then all the varieties in the depth of the protruding portion of these stones, the weird haphazard angles and grooves, uh, just random, random stuff. Uh, it's like a snickering imposter to kind of sum it all up. Uh, this wall is like a playful pretend ruins because it's got the aesthetic for sure of like dilapidation and multiple eras of historical revamping and all that. But there's just so much strangeness going on that it's telling you that it's not real almost. Like some of these vertical grooves and then the, this one meandering. I don't think these are like weather patterns or from construction. Um, this X, I suppose that could be someone just scratching it in there. But like all these grooves and stuff, but I might leave that topic for now just because I want to focus on the doorways. Um, okay, so let's just hop over to the next image. And so we have this partial arch. Good look at it there. And this blocked up archway. So not to mention all the 
um, goofy messy like half this half that stonework uh, okay and here's a closer look at that half filled in one so try and come up with an explanation for why they would only fill in half of this or w why fill it in at all really and even taking one more step back like what is it in the first place before it was filled in like this so it's just a random cavity that's not really serving much of a purpose it's already just a filled in dead end window and then they fill it in again halfway <laughs> with this thing of stonework and here we see a vertical line here lining up with it possibly having something to do with that but I think this might actually just be a an example of feature transfer or path transfer so we have we're going along this path and then the type of feature along this path changes so this is a groove and then it uh, the path continues but now it's a blocked up archway thing and then it changes back and it's a groove again so uh, I think that's one strategy of discombobulation one little micro tool that is used for confusion purposes and or masking or like a weird type of quasi disguise or some type of smudging of the uh, history or the origin of the place okay anyways so on the face of this there's this guy this archway we're still on the wall in Tarragona and we've got this guy looking like it was potentially functional at one point but I highly doubt that and so these big long grooves that span the face of it I'm very skeptical of those they don't look natural or artificial they're just weird patterns um, and when I say artificial I mean it's like not by any conventional means for like legit purposes okay and anything else I think that'll do on this image good enough so here we have uh, some semblance of yet another possible doorway of some kind again several feet off the ground I suppose the ground level could change but all right well just look at it and think of it what you will okay so same area generally walls of Tarragona Spain and this guy is just a shit show for several reasons first of all the holes the mounting holes or whatever they are like the variations on it we've got this big square hole we've got these little slots we've got these potentially natural uh, holes here we've got very oddly positioned grooves and holes we've got this half clamp here that's completely non-functional and then or it's pretending to be a clamp is what I would say and then these grooves tool marks eh, maybe and then here I noticed that it looks like these blocks have a protruding portion and then it's shallower here then this one's like not consistent with that like the blocks next to it this one and this one they look like they protrude a little bit more or at least this one and possibly this one as well they might may not be flush and who knows that could be from earthquakes but I think it's part of the derp it's just planned that way to look like a half-hearted attempt at dilapidation or you know fake ruins okay uh, yeah so just, I mean why is it blocked up halfway and what was it in the first place so that other one a moment ago was blocked up halfway vertically this one right here down here uh, yeah there we go so that's blocked up halfway vertically 
And then this one we're looking at is blocked up halfway horizontally. And see like right here? It's just like why? It doesn't look functional really. So fake ruins, in my opinion, that uh, tell you that they're fake with the deliberate errors left in the general appearance. Okay, let's skip to the next one. So same city, Tarragona, and just this one. Not a whole lot to say about it other than subjectively it looks weird. And if they were doing a remodel of this wall or whatever, why wouldn't they tear out the arch as well? Um, or, uh, I mean, I guess I could think of reasons, but I don't think this was a remodeled wall. I think it's feigned eras of, or feigned multiple phases of construction. Okay, and then this one, we've got this arch down here, and we have this guy up here. First of all, like, look, how, look at how uh, derpy it is on the top. Like, very shoddy work. Like, you see the simultaneous appearance of very precision work, or at least put a lot of effort into it. And some of this as well looks fairly precise, like these blocks are looking fairly neat and clean. Some of these blocks have a nice tight fit, but then what, they just decided to go completely goofy right here. Like the proportions here, see how it's like a uniform thickness, but then here it's like bleh. <laughs> and um, it's just a shit show basically. I could go into all the details with the square holes and the rectangles and odd protrusions and stuff, but I'm gonna leave that for later and I've kind of already talked about it as well. But yeah, I don't know if this was ever a legit arch or even if it's for artistic accent, like, uh, it's not really doing much for me. <laughs> okay, so let's keep moving. So, same city, Walls of Tarragona, and this wall is a pretty big shit show. We've got this bricked up one here, way up there. We've got this kind of faint indication of one. Um, and if you look closely, you might see a whole bunch of stuff. Certainly this right here, uh, all those square holes. And I think this one up here is mostly what I wanted to show. And then this one right here. So this, mm, it's just awkward subjectively. So maybe we'll get a better look in this image. See how awkward this looks in the haphazard patchy, what, repairs, I guess. So I'm saying it's feigned or faked indications of multiple eras of construction when really the whole site is, at some point was generated as a false historical site, probably rather rapidly. So another angle in that same spot, we can see the edge of this arch here and then see the unevenness like see how this vertical edge see how uh, this one as well how they're kind of inconsistent with the depth in relation to the uh, surrounding like, material and here what's going on there it's very awkward and why they choose to use uneven stones for the, the windows. I don't know that that's artistic. I think it's just derpy weirdness. Okay, so same city and skipping all these weird holes and protrusions for the moment. What I want to point out is uh, we've got this archway here, this main one, and then this one just appears right in the middle of it, interrupting it. It's such a sloppy way to build. And then, not to mention the ground, I think I've mentioned before how, what a poor design decision it is to put so much effort into the precision of the arches and the walls, but then put no effort into making a level floor. 
I don't think this was legitimate damage of a floor that was once level. I think it's brought into being in the aesthetic of an already dilapidated derpy structure. Something like that. And then just the placement of this arch like so awkwardly usurping or interrupting this arch here. And again, multiple eras of, or stages of construction, eh, could be, but I don't think so. This one, okay, moving on to Beit She'an National Park in Israel. And there's a lot I could point out. Mostly I just want to point out this as an, yet another example of one arch or feature interrupting another arch pretty abruptly. So let's take a look here. We've got this archway, which is very awkwardly positioned with these uh, pillars or little uh, column nublets, these short little column things, which are pretty derpy in and of themselves. But this one just like colliding with this arch here. And I mean, it could be modern archaeologists just doing a poor job of attempting to recreate the site or, you know, doing their best and whatever. But uh, in my opinion, it's yet another geometrical motif or architectural motif. It even looks like this column might be kind of cut flat on this side. And just the sheer, like, how is this functional in any way? What, were these holding up a roof and rafters? Maybe, eh, ah. And then what is this over here? Stairs? Mm. Okay, let's keep moving. Okay, so I think we're in the same site. And just this derpy double arch here. We've got this arch, which is very messy to begin with. And then this arch here. Doubling it or echoing it. Just one arch over here. And this presumably is modern concrete restoration, I guess. Uh, okay. Then this it looks like a, almost like an archway, like wanting to start or like a half-hearted attempt at starting an archway almost, or it could be just ribbing of some kind for aesthetic purposes or whatever, or that's the only stone they had. But like, look how poorly these stones are laid and how poorly shaped they are. Like, mm. I don't know, if whoever did this arch here is the same person who did this arch in the background here, it's like this work looks still pretty derpy, but a little bit more clean and well executed, whereas this is just like no fucks given, just complete shit show. So it's a contradiction of styles, or at least makes me raise an eyebrow. Okay, so moving on to Imperial Baths of Trier in Germany. I believe this is a Roman site and like baths. Please tell me this is not like a four or five story bathhouse because that's completely implausible explanation because this would be overkill for a bathroom, right? Like think about the bathhouse at the beach near you or the public park and how much effort needed to be put in to build that. And then, what, 2,000 years ago, with less technology than we have now, the Romans are building five-story, 25 million brick bathhouses? <laughs> what, to take a shower in a 20-foot window? I mean, it's pretty in-your-face fallacious, in my opinion. And, okay, so... That conversation aside, let's just take a look at these arches. So we've got this gorgeous, great artistic taste right there. Just slap an arch in the middle of the wall. And then another one here. Pretty weird, yeah? Uh, functional, with this one more of a double arch. And then up here, we've got a heck of a lot going on. We've got like a kind of faint indication of one there and here. Some, it's just like a shit show kind of AI vomit or a detail vomit or garbled detail soup or a garbled version of an arch. And all the, uh, some of the arches have two uh, layers of archway, which 
looks kind of consistent up here, okay. But then you go down here and it's like, this one has, I believe, three arch layers or echoed layers. This one has four, one, two, three, four. And this one has one, two, three, four, five. So like little rainbows of gratuitous archway, gratuitously many layers here. So derp salad, all things considered. And better look here at these arches. Nice close up. Okay, uh, good enough. Let's keep going. Same site. Okay, this one has a partial double arch. No real problems with that. I mean, it's kind of ugly, but whatever. This is looking like a half-hearted beginning of an archway or a former archway. I just was like, oh, I'm going to be an arch. Oh, no, I'm not. <laughs> and then here, just this arch, like this face, abruptly interrupts this arch's trajectory right here. So uh, we're going to get a couple different looks at this general area here. And then also the idea of a half bricked up archway. So here we have an arch, which could have been fine without these here, but why were these added? To make it prettier? I don't think it makes it prettier. <laughs> Are they functional? Did they want a narrower doorway to restrict traffic or something? I don't know. It just looks like detail soup to me. So we've got this arch kind of shadowing this arch down here, but there's like a break or a lapse in the middle where there's just regular brickwork kind of. So it's like very odd choice of arch work. I'm not sure if arch is the correct term, but a arc or a curve or a fulcrum. I don't know what you call it, but uh, I'm just going to call it arch rainbow shaped thing. Okay, so yeah, we've got this looking odd, some little shadow of it there, and then just regular brickwork. And then what is this here? Like this awkward, very awkward placed thing there. So, strangeness. Okay, so yeah, this is just another look, and I pretty much said everything I want to say already, so. Again, these arches ending very abruptly. Okay, and another image here, and mostly what I want to point out is these partial archways so this face here, this, uh, it's kind of curving around and then it's more flat over here, but it's looking like the final or the original boundary of the wall here. Uh, so it doesn't look to me like this was ever an arch that extended across. Uh, I suppose it could have been, but... Mm. I mean, yeah, I guess this ground level here might be consistent with an arch extending across, but whatever protocol generated all these structures or the design of them, it takes that into account. It takes potential explanation or potential interpretations into account when it's creating these designs. So it knows it can't have too many of these things just on their own otherwise the game's up and we'll figure it out but if they have a ground which is level over here which is nearly consistent with an arch going across then these are safely within a radius of plausible deniability or believability but i still think they're fake and in the next image we just get a closer look yeah so just a derpy non-feature or pretend feature. All right, and this image, I just wanted to show the multiple shadow layers or different amounts of, I think this one has seven arches. So this one here has two layers of arch. This one has one, two, three, four. This one's got two again. This one has, 
I think one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Yeah, it's a lot of gratuitous archiness in my opinion. And so yeah, even though this hints at or suggests a continuation of this wall here, I'm saying there very well may never have been a wall here or a continuation of this wall over here. Okay, and then of course bricked up. These are bricked up, blocked up, very common thing. And then this is from the exterior of the site. We've got this one down here, uh, this possibly, and mostly this. We've got this weird arch segment here, and then multiple layers and very messy damage or pseudo damage in my opinion. All this junk up here. And like it's protruding outward from the original face. Like it's made to look like damage, but if it were damage, that would be the removal of material. But this is like extra material caked on to the exterior. Like this this face here is looking like it's relatively flat. And then this like big chunk here just kind of protrudes out from that. So how did that get that way? Uh, I think it's one of those deliberate errors to alert you to the fact that it's fake. Okay, and then these odd layers, shadow or echo arches here, just a strange taste in art or architecture. And so same city, but different site. And I think in this one, I just want to point out, first of all, this structure, just subjectively kind of weird looking, gaudy, awkward columns or half columns or uh, like for show columns, just very weird style, like false authority or false beauty. And then the main thing I wanted to point out was this arch here, like what was that, like why? Okay, so looking maybe like it was a bridge at one point and then got bricked up, but I don't know if I buy it. And then this, uh, I guess these windows needed an arch. And then this, mm, that might be modern blocked up, like just some, a piece of wood or something. All right, let's move on. So this is in Rome, different site now, but same general idea. Again, just a, yet another case study in the strange variations and rich variegated variations on geometrical themes. So we've got the idea of shadowing an arch or echoing or double archway, triple archway, but <laughs> like one, two, three, and then of course this one up here which would have gone across, presumably. Uh, like this almost has an appeal to it over here, like this above this. Like that's, that's kind of a, you know, reasonable artistic taste. But this and this and this, that's like overkill weirdness. Um, the only thing I could think of is, okay, maybe it's not, uh, maybe this is multiple different eras of building and rebuilding of the site, but that doesn't strike me as super feasible. I know a lot of my arguments are based on pure spidey senses, but just subjectively the oddness of the arch strikes me as weird. Okay, this same site, we've just got many arches here, lots of them starting and stopping and very oddly placed. Um, this image has a whole bunch of stuff. We've got this little guy. We've got uh, this. Very many partial arches. So what the whole structure fell away, maybe. These. This big muffin of weirdness up here. So it's an internally inconsistent derp show 
these ridiculous grooves here, these horizontal grooves there. And we will do some zooming. Okay, so there's almost too much to cover in this image in a timely fashion, but we've got all these arches, these ones, these grooves, vertical grooves, of course, all the holes and slots. This little guy, these multiple arches. So it's made to look like the ceiling fell away or broke away, or like half the structure is gone now due to just the passage of time or whatever. I don't think that's the case. Got this guy. So you look at this face, this is looking like a, an original face or a, a final face, but then this arch here looking like it attempts to go out of that face. This is a very strange way to place this arch. Mm. I don't know if I said that quite right. But these stripes here, stripes of material, uh, I could think of any number of explanations for that, I guess. And another same thing here, just the arch starting and then stopping at the face of the wall. And another instance here of possible protruding damage rather than recessed as it should be. Uh, these things. Uh, here's an archway. These grooves, of course, very derpy, nonsensical. Okay, that's probably enough for this image. Not to mention the sheer scale of it. Like, how were the Romans doing this? But we build little unimpressive structures with way more technology, right? That's, I don't think that quite adds up. And then all these little holes in various orientations in the bricks. Uh, legit damage or not? I don't know about that. Okay, let's look at some more areas in the site. Just a good close up here of random square holes, just further adding to the derp. This awkwardly placed square hole, these many variations, haphazard brick work here, varying levels of erosion and all that. Just a good subjective look at it. Here, these grooves. Why? <laughs> Why? And this cavity here, why? This doorway hole thing, weird. And it has the pie theme, or the uh, the T shape, like many of these sites. Just a, yet another geometrical motif. This one, a little awkward. This one, kind of a bricked up, blocked up archway. And that's enough. And one more here, we just see the these ones looking fairly clean. This one at least in the center. This one a little kind of oblong, awkwardly shaped, but not too bad. And then this one's just like, what the frick? Like super uh, tweaked out. And then these, like this weird ribbing of the, and then it's like a very sophisticated derp salad uh, at the risk of repeating myself over and over and over. but. There's this odd cavity, partial arch here, looking like it wants to start, or maybe was part of some actual arch, but I don't know about that. And that'll do it for that. This one in Israel. So the walls of Jerusalem in general have this same total shit show type vibe to them. So we've got all the holes Got all the odd protrusions and odd grooves. Like here's a random diagonal groove spanning two blocks. Uh, it, like here's a groove spanning two blocks with a horizontal ridge and a random hole there. Possible natural erosion or limestone imperfections or whatever type of stone it is. And little circle there. So yeah, first of all, they are blocked up 
and purposeless in my opinion. So let's zoom into actual size and we've got, I just want to give you a nice subjective look or overall look at the many, many variations in the surface texture. So presumably that is from blocks being recycled from multiple sites. This one looking like a half-hearted attempt at a column segment, looking like it might have been a column segment, but it's just kind of very awkward and what, I don't know, maybe to hold a plant, like maybe there's another one right here, or to hold a torch or something, but yeah, like look at how this block barely protrudes, like it has a very shallow little step here, and this one's got like a 10 times larger or 20 times larger uh, step up. Same thing here, and then it's got a nice diagonal gradient from weathering perhaps, but it's very awkward. Okay, so that may be enough for this image. Again, all the holes. Look at this block and how it's got a fat margin over here and then a slightly different margin, slightly different margin from the edge of the block to the center portion, the uh, embossed or protruding center. Again, I think it's called a channeled ash lar. Not quite sure how it got that name, but whatever. It's this one, again, very, this uh, edge almost not even looking parallel to this edge. Just sheer derp. Uh, okay. So we might live in a sim sim simulation or some shit. Yeah, cool. <laughs> so let's go to the next image. This one is in Israel as well. And we have a couple things actually. So number one, this very awkward half arch just extending nonsensically from the wall. We've got this arch not looking like it was ever a legitimate bridge or archway or door or anything like that or vaulted vaulted ceiling. It's just looking like a random arch in the middle of the wall. The staircase starting halfway up the wall like this. How pragmatic is this? <laughs> Just the stairway to the edge of the wall where you fall off eight feet and break your ankles. Sounds like a worthwhile construction effort. Then this door, of course, it's like, why? Like, okay, let's assume this is the original edge or flush line of the wall. Okay, well, here it's protruding out at a different angle. Here we've got some inconsistencies. This, I could give the benefit of the doubt you know, maybe this edge was repaired, but then we also have even more awkward stuff over here, like, okay, we have a very obvious, originally intended uh, border of this door, but then here they're just like, ah, eh, screw it, let's put two blocks, this one and this one, let's just put them completely out of alignment, just protruding way out into the doorway. And okay, so maybe there was another block here that got removed, and so this did extend all the way across. Okay, and maybe the same for this next layer up here. We certainly see this one going across in the background. Um, but there's even more weirdness with the one in the background. And so we've got this. <laughs> Do we really need this stone up here? <laughs> Pretty awkward. And okay, maybe this stone fell out of the original ceiling level or layer of blocks. But then, like, look at this guy back here. Like, why did they choose to do it like this? What, for aesthetic purposes? I mean, maybe. Uh, no. It's just deliberate derp. And I'll leave you to uh, evaluate that claim further if you would like to. Okay. Okay, now we're in Tunisia. And we've got this arch here, pretty strange. We've got this blocked up window or whatever it was. Apparently this nice little curve here, which may be a recessed 
feature of something on the interior, like a fireplace or something. I actually can't tell if this is protruding or indented recess, but it's some just generally awkward arch. And this window over here, they decided to keep it a window, but not this one. And then, yeah, this guy is the main one I wanted to point out. Okay. So same site, Duga, Tunisia, and this is a very awkward arch as well. We've got this one. First of all, you see the size of this lady, and then the ground level. What? Like, what was this used for? I mean, maybe an animal pen or something, but I don't think you would build all this, put all this effort into moving these huge stones if you weren't going to make it human height. So this is another one of those deliberate errors. No, it's not an elf castle or anything, in my opinion. Or like dwarf people from the lost magical past or something like that. I don't think it's that. I think it's just a deliberately awkward variation on the arch theme. Deliberately derpy and nonsensical. And then note the varying surface level of these blocks. Like this one, maybe it broke away. Part of it, but very uneven, I guess is the word I'm going for. Uneven surface of these blocks. Okay. Here in Paracas, Peru, a couple, this almost looks like a faint indication of some kind of partial archway there. You see what I'm talking about? Like almost, like it's not super definitive, but it's looking like a like 5% former arch aesthetic. So this is an example of like a partially phased in feature or partially implemented feature, just like a very faint indication of a feature. And as such, it's a uh, deliberate mistake or mistake in quotation marks. Uh, okay. And then this is the main thing I want to point out. Again, it's halfway filled up. So we've got it's filled up, but then the top half is not filled up, or it's filled up at this level, and then this layer here is uh, filled up about halfway. So it's like two different surface depths, and it's very reminiscent of here in Tarragona, Spain. We've got this one half filled vertically, and then this one half filled horizontally or at least different depths of the block work in the middle and it changes halfway. This is in Spain and then let's go back to Peru and it's quite similar. You see here different depths which change halfway through the uh, stonework. So it's just the same shitty deliberately poorly designed architectural aesthetic. It's like, it's snickering at us big time. And then one more example in Paracas, Peru. We've got this bricked up thing not serving a purpose. Same thing on this side and this side. And then this multiple layers just dead ending in purposelessness. You know, one, two, three, four, a four layer deep nonsensical doorway to nowhere. It's just a wall. So it's entirely purposeless. Okay, so one explanation is like altars or whatever, or religious, for holding religious figurines or whatever, but again, just the sheer size of the stone and the quality of the stonework mixed in with haphazard, like lumpy mistakes and stuff and the odd choice of four layers of doorway here. It's like Russian dolls here for no apparent reason. It's a lot of extra work for no payoff, right? And you might say, okay, well, maybe it wasn't a lot of work for them because they had high technology. Well, first of all, it's still purposeless, even if they did have high technology, in my opinion. And then why did they leave all these lumpy details and odd holes and stuff? So it's a lot of surface texture defects that didn't get addressed by this alleged high technology if we go that route. Okay, 
Um, and then one more thing I wanted to say is the idea of sub-communication or reading between the lines. Like, what does this symbolically represent? So it's like a fractal dead end. So it's like the protocol is describing itself with its features. Like, within the features of the protocol we're dealing with, which generated all the weird structures around Earth and all the stuff on the ground and all that. So within its creations, it tells you about its methods. So this may be a symbolic, self-referential representation of a strategy that the protocol uses. So the idea of a doorway to nowhere or a dead-end line of inquiry is represented in this feature. And it's fractal or it's at least self-similar and uh, nested. So it's like nested dead-ends is kind of the name of the game or at least one of the strategies in play and there are many other possible symbolic representations as well like this could be interpreted in a subcommunication way as the idea of starting and stopping or like a half-hearted attempt like this feature could represent the notion of a half-hearted attempt and how is that it's like you start with something and then you just abruptly stop so that could be just as one example of one potential additional subcontext or sub meaning of uh, or symbolic meaning of some of these features. Yeah. All right, let's keep moving. So more stuff in Peru. This is the sacred place of the ancient ones, apparently. And um, so we've got these pie shaped doors. Got this one without the pie thing, so that's one variation. Like these don't have the uh, variations like jutting out to the side here. This upper row does have kind of a extending portion on the top, making it look like the letter pi. And then kind of a weird little angle there, little divot. And there's quite a few weird things with this site. So first of all, these are all non-functional, right? Like, what do they do? Like, hold your Star Wars figures or something like that? Or put a potted plant there? I mean, it's, again, a lot of work for no real purpose. Okay, just a few different angles, different looks at these doors. It's, again, multiple layers. We've got one depth level, and then another one here, and then another one here. Uh, so, just variations. And as we kind of pan around this cave, it's like a cave area on a pretty steep mountainside. And even this stuff back here might be like fake mountain or fake cliffside, but you can't really make it out. So I don't want to go too gung-ho about that, but we're going to kind of pan around here and see some other weird doors. This one down here off screen is a pretty well-known one. So yeah, as we pan this way, we see this very derpy, just awkward staircases and uh, nonsensical rectangles and two doublets. What, for ceremonial purposes? Not likely. It's just discombobulation soup. Pattern soup. And then this is on the other side of the cave, and it is this cavity or outcrop or cutout of just blank wall. Again, several layers. We've got one, two, three, four depths of wall. Yeah, just for no real reason. And I feel bad for people who think it's like sacred because <laughs> it's not. I mean, that's, that's not a bad guess, actually. I should say that. That's not a bad guess that these were like stargates or people thought they were stargates in the past or people were superstitious, so they built something that they wanted to be, like a stargate or something like that, or like a portal to the gods, you know, to, or for whatever. But, um, yeah, anyways, just another purposeless doorway there. Let's keep moving. A couple different looks at it here. Get a decent look at the surface texture and details. 
all right, whatever. And I'm always on the lookout for any slight meanderings of the wall trajectory or the edge. I think I mean edge. So sometimes you'll see like, these are, I would say, very precise looking edges, very precision and uh, kind of accurate as well. But I like even up here, it almost looks like it curls up like just a slight fraction of an angle. And that could just be the camera angle. So I don't wanna be too emphatic about that, but just something to look out for just the uh, edges that meander alongside edges that are perfectly straight. So it's like this confusing mixture, like a bedazzling effect. Okay. So just a general look at it there. And see how this is kind of like halfway natural, halfway brick and mortar look, or like stone masonry. This almost looks like blocks, but it's also like just kind of part of the face of the stone. So it's like, what is this general area here? It's like halfway in between the brick wall look or the stone wall look and the natural rock. Like this almost looks like it's gratuitously given a feature which resembles block work. However, it doesn't look like it's necessarily actual block work. It looks like it's kind of just part of the natural stone. If indeed the stone is natural, we could even question these surface texture lines, but let's move on. Okay, so more Peru stuff. This one's in Olante Tambo, and just yet another, this is the exterior of a building, and it's more recent work, but even so, it's like, I don't know, outdoor shower maybe, I guess. <laughs> or what I'm thinking is even the more recent structures may be false or falsified as well. Or someone came along and tweaked them out heavily and made them look falsified. Any number of possibilities. Pompeii, Italy, we've got this arch here at kind of ground level and the partial walls and very, it's very hard to make out where the original ceilings were and these, these meandering like capped walls or remains of walls, very awkwardly placed and kind of nonsensical. Okay, let's go to Petra now. So we've got this. <laughs> This is like a variation on the geometric theme of an archway or yeah, here's another horizontal groove. This big guy up here. And of course, all these awkward archways and doors looking very difficult to make sense of, likely because they're designed nonsensically, but almost sensical. Okay, anyways, a uh, little staircase pattern. Anything else? Uh, just kind of lots of variations on the door type or the general look of the door. This one's got a random horizontal groove over it. So same site, just different area. This partial arch, like what is that? It's like a ribbon of partial archway. Like, is that necessary? Functional? No? And then the placement of all these doorways as well is very haphazard. This one is just a blank square cutout, as is this and many of these just little dead end things, which are again, just a geometrical motif with multiple variations and different scale. So round, some more square, larger with no, or it's like kind of fades out at the top. This one's more deep and larger still. This one's got some grooves there. It's got like two sides, but it doesn't have a left in the top side. And then these, this one's got a kind of an archway. So just a derpy shit show, bunch of phony features or non-features might be a better term. And just a different angle here, same stuff basically. Okay. Fake windows or 
purposeless windows. Even the erosion, I'm saying, is, well, obviously some of it's legit, but I would guess that most of it is faked, the erosion. So these were never a functional structure of any kind. Okay, these little holes here. And in retrospect, like, man, I don't know how I ever could have looked at pictures of stuff like this and taken it seriously, you know? But I did. <laughs> it had me for 30 years, almost. Yeah, I mean, look at this nonsensical arch groove. And this thing, this actually, I think it might hold water, this thing. It's... But again, I would say this is like faked irrigation, or it's made to look like that's a plausible explanation. But it's an may have even been used to transfer water at one point, but I don't think that was its original intention. Okay, anyways, let's keep moving. I think this one, I just want to show this lone derpy door there, and some of these faint uh, indentations here, just square weirdness. Architectural der, for sure. Petra still, more square holes and random variations on the groove theme and at some point I hope to catalog all the geometrical motifs I've discovered and hopefully you're taking me a little more seriously on these fake tool marks because if you look at these divots and all the strange totally goofy windows and non-windows like half door half window dead end nothing things. It's not hard to suspect that these tool marks might be fake as well, just imposed patterns or, you know, like 3D printed almost, like fake indications of tool marks. Okay, let's keep on going. So here again, the same thing as Peru and also Egypt, we see the pie door and also Turkey. We see this pie shaped door theme in many places and this one we've got this nice clean well-preserved layer up here but i don't know i guess this more eroded bottom portion potentially presupposes like heavy flooding or monsoon or extended periods underwater or something like that or sandstorms hitting only this lower portion but not this portion course all the little holes and details uh, but yeah purposeless columns purposeless door window things and again the idea of symbolic logic or subcommunication or symbolic representation so these may actually serve a symbolic purpose rather than a practical one so pi this may reference circularity or closed circuit, like a closed curve. That's what these pi doors could represent since they are shaped in the letter pi. So that may be the protocol telling you about its methods in its details. Okay. Another couple of stupid nothing door things here. Good enough, okay. And these, this edge here almost looks like it kind of derps out a little bit. Like, it's pretty precise and well trajectoried over here. It almost looks like it, like right at the end here, this last stretch of it, it looks like it gets a little wonky. Again, that could be the camera angle a little bit. Um, just a random groove here. The goofy placement of the holes, uh, random cavities here, sheer scale of it also. Okay, and this one I almost don't need to say anything, but like what? And I'm also just noticing some faint indentations here, like you see this kind of like almost like a shadow of a feature, uh, like right here. So I'm saying like this whole rock face is just like deliberately fake and it's it's placed in a niche or niche which is designed to affect 
different types of beholders in different ways. So one person might see a naturally eroding ancient structure, like it's made to look like. And another person might see the phony details or shadow details, and they might say, oh, it's not a real structure, or it never was one, not to mention the purposelessness. And then even another layer still, we might say, okay, well, if they are making deliberately awkward features, like these lines possibly, and nonsensical, non-practical, why are they doing it? And what do the patterns tell us, if anything? So are these patterns entirely random? That remains to be seen. Again, the idea of a fractal or a nested application of features and methods. So I think that concept applies to the uh, kind of meta interpretations of these sites or meta purposes of these sites. So like these sites have like five or 10 purposes perhaps, depending on who's looking and why and what they're looking for. So it may be like a very dense packet of information here. But, uh, okay, anyways, moving forward. This is in Peru, halfway around the world. And we've got, this might be the most blatant of all the uh, <laughs> phony arches or out of place arches. And even this close up look here, Looking at the stone, it looks almost like a little vitrified, or I would just say fake. Like, this may be like a fake boulder. That crack may or may not be real. It could be a fake crack made to look real. Some of the, just the, the texturing of it and the general appearance and the, like the goofy cavities and little herky-jerky, wonky contours. It's made to be... 98% foolproof, but also within a radius of discoverability so that we can say, oh wait, is this rock fake? You know what I mean? It's like just subjectively like taking a step back and looking at the overall quality of the stone. Yeah, it could be natural. I mean, obviously there are natural processes weathering this rock away as we speak, and that's probably been going on for quite a while. I'm not sure how long, but Okay, let's put that aside for a moment and just discuss the arch, I guess. And in context, we kind of see it in this image. It's these very large boulder things, and very many of them. And uh, see this random straight line here and this kind of flat face here, and these random stratified uh, layers of earth and haphazard, like, half walls. That I've pointed out in previous videos with the Earth's surface stuff, the ground, and you know, the whole deal I've been talking about up till now. But uh, on the architecture side of the discussion, obviously this wasn't practical. Okay, so maybe it was like someone with high technology practicing their artwork or technology. Maybe it's somebody doodling. Maybe it's just a guy with a chisel and something. Just spending a long time just making that and that and maybe these strata and some of these grooves just for the heck of it because they felt like it or you know like masonry practice you know like a legit guild of masons or stone workers just coming to make a random pattern to practice their skills I mean obviously that's a possibility but just putting two and two together it doesn't seem likely at this point okay so, I mean, if there ever was a gratuitous out of place arch, <laughs> there it is. Uh, Olan Tetambo once more. Again, just two or three layers deep of dead end doorway window things that don't serve much of a purpose, just kind of chilling out on the middle of a hillside. Okay. And this is a more modern thing here, more modern phenomenon, but take a close look at these little patterns along the side of the freeway here. So this is just the median or the barrier along the highway, the freeway. We see this, this pattern of like <laughs> phony doorway things. <laughs> so, I mean, how are we to interpret that? Could it be coincidence? Sure. I mean, a door is a pretty 
universal or a widely utilized structure or pattern or window. And then look back here at the Ford building. Here we have it implemented. And uh, this phenomenon of the uh, purposeless doorway or arch or window that's solid in the middle, that's utilized quite heavily in present day architecture as well. And you could make the argument that that's just because it references the ancient stuff we've been looking at, the Roman stuff and all that. It's like a throwback or a recycling of old styles. And you know, that's what they teach in architecture school or whatever. But just um, try and think for a moment how silly these features are. Like they're not particularly good looking. They're fairly functionless, I would say solid in the middle so it's just like this protocol is ongoing and I mean we're we're still in it it would seem and uh, compare that to Saqqara in Egypt this is more ancient stuff first of all the haphazard placement of them like they're all at different heights like here and this one a little higher and this one down lower and different sizes different shapes this one got a random groove in the middle this one's just kind of phases out this one kind of uh, uh, slight change in the middle possibly this one with some random grooves here so again the idea of a derp show or nothing show okay so i have one more image of a spot down the street from here see a lot of the new housing developments being built they have design features of the derp or the deliberate nonsense or the dumbed down partial feature or dummy feature so look at this building in the back here and this is a totally stupid feature so he may not agree with me that's fine but i think this is a manifestation of the long-term intent to step humanity's consciousness down into an idiocracy type of scenario so we just get immersed in and then accustomed to being surrounded by stupidity and utter nonsense. And then eventually that becomes the norm. And uh, there's always a subset of people who are like, what the frick is this? But it does have an effect on, you know, whoever's susceptible to this type of under the radar manipulation. So to sum that up a little bit, from ancient Egypt and ancient Rome and the cathedrals all the way up through now and into the future, there appears to be an effort to wonkify or derpify in a very subtle manner the patterns we are immersed in as a way to potentially baby step us into a very idiotic state where we are kind of controllable and where we are like less and less discerning and more and more like an animal, I guess. Okay. So, yeah, this is pretty alarming <laughs> when you think about it from that perspective. I just laugh when I see this stuff, but because I mean, you see this everywhere. Like, go look at new housing developments or shopping centers being built near you, and you'll see the same idea of like a totally goofy false archway or a phony doorway just it's completely gratuitous okay so San Juan Capistrano and Egypt got these little doorway things and this one in Egypt as well got these looks like almost like the pie shaped door pattern again totally non-functional never was anything just arbitrary quasi-architectural features at a uh, perplexing scale. Same thing here, just partial columns. Weird solid doorway not really doing anything, just a random rectangle and it's architecture soup rather than legit ruins of any kind. It's total nonsense. This guy here as well, just a, it's, it's basically Petra just in Egypt with slight variations so now we are in Jordan and the double arches okay 
See this one over here is like two curved arches, this one a straight one and a curved one. Okay, I mean, no reason they can't do it differently on both sides. All right, um, two arches here, random square hole. This randomly blocked off in the middle there. Let's take a look at that. See like, eh, what purpose does this uh, recessed rectangle serve? Just kind of blocked off. And again, the idea of like halfway filled in, halfway not. So there, and then here we see it, another gap there. And missing a stone here. Uh, this very awkward look to it. And again, the co-occurrence of precision with lack of precision. This is a very like awkward lip here. This one's rounded and this one's like angled here. Like why? It's very awkward uh, border to this arch. So, and again, you contrast that with some of the precision on some of the blocks we're seeing here. So it's a hodgepodge basically of styles. So yeah, and then of course this one in the middle, I guess this could be like a presentation stage or some type of actually functional thing here just because it's large enough to be something. But of course the square holes in the middle, random square holes, little holes along the whole thing as well. So then these, what, windows? But it's blocked off, so how is it a window? <laughs> Right, so I think we're, I'm kind of beating it to death now, but I think it helps to see a lot of examples, like more than necessary, like until you can't deny it anymore. Okay, so next image is in Tunisia, El Gem Amphitheater. And first up we have this archway here, which is, it wants to start, but then it doesn't want to continue. We have these weird little, I don't know, just the, the way the blocks kind of jut out and are recessed in a kind of haphazard fashion. It's not particularly looking like a organic damage pattern or an organic process of repairs and renovations. Now, Rome, Italy, this one, obviously an arch here that just kind of collides with this wall abruptly. So it's like, I'm a rainbow. Nope. And then it's not, was this ever a door? So, uh, what, there's this archway, probably the same age as this archway it looks like, but this one's a door, but this one they just filled in. What, like, what was it? doesn't look like it was anything. So they just put an arch there for no reason, assuming it's legit. And then um, square hole here, random curve there. Derp show. Okay, Byblos in Lebanon, uh, kind of continuing off screen here, we have this filled in arch, this horizontal groove. Columns, I guess we could talk about as well, but mostly I just wanted to show that arch. It's kind of like these arches is what that was. Uh, so we've got little ones like here, we've got bigger ones. These almost look artistic, like they almost have a nice accent kind of feel to them, but who knows. Leptis Magna in Libya, we've got all these little window thingies, which are nothing, they're just for show. So again, why were people with much lower technology creating these quasi-magnificent structures just for show? And then look at the little arch above all these columns. Just random little garnish or finishing touch, which is rather derpy. So purposeless and pseudo elegant. Anyways, this guy in Spain. So first of all, the general idea of this freestanding arch way is 
another recurring geometric or architectural motif. It's just a, it's, I guess it's kind of like a peacock feather or like just for show, you know, like a flexing your power or your nation's wealth or something like that. I guess that's what it's meant to look like, but just the surface anomalies and again, the phony doorways, just cheesy details, very cheesy in my opinion. It's crazy that people say it's like beautiful and all that. It is a little bit like it's like 85% beautiful and then it's 15% really dumb looking. So it's this very odd, awkward chimera or splice of an architectural feature. Hybrid, I think is the word I'm looking for. Okay. Regensburg, Germany, we have this. Blech. First of all, the size of these blocks, pretty impressive. It's like as big as this lady almost. And then this blocked up archway, which was probably never an arch, just and then these square holes, of course, just blech. total shit show, basically. I'm not saying it's not old, like a couple thousand years old, maybe, yeah, or at least a couple hundred, but I am saying it's not entirely legitimate patterns of reconstruction and repair that we're observing, and also damage and erosion. I think a lot of that is faked. Okay, enough said on that. Cartagena, Spain. This, I think I just wanted to point out like this window right here, like just kind of the general idea of false, purposeless, like gaudy, cheesy garnish or finishing touches like false elegance or very dumb, derpy, silly attempt at elegance and a deliberately non-successful attempt at elegance, or at least that's baked into its design to a degree. Um, okay. So obviously this is looking like a more modern build. Just, it's like, again, the idea of an ongoing protocol which spans the entirety of human history and continues as we speak. Um, this is like a variation on the idea of just a random generic deity. This random variation on the bricked up door, a uh, quotation of Roman styles and all that. Uh, these like random squares, quasi ornamental. I mean, they kind of look good. Uh, this does like have a cool vibe to it. It's just, um, it's five or 10 or 15% cheese. And that may be generous and maybe more like 45%. <laughs> but uh, yeah, anyways. Ask yourself, what the heck is all this next time you go walk down the street? <laughs> this obelisk in Ethiopia. Let's zoom in and check out some of these details. First of all, the uh, silly window door things, just nothing features. We've got these gratuitous goofy circles. Nice little finishing top up there. The very uneven ground level features, steps. So this door here, again, it's all variations on geometrical themes. These nice little waffle things. It's derp salad, basically pattern soup. Okay. Home stretch here, hang in there. This is just a halfway decent look at the many different variations, but still quite similar all across the planet. This blocked up doorway to nowhere. So we're just looking at this one, Ethiopia, all the ones in Petra, India, same deal, Bolivia, same shit. Some island, uh, Peru or Bolivia, Ethiopia again, lots of stuff in Peru. Turkey, just the fractal or nested doorways, nested doorways of nothingness in Turkey. 
So all just variations on a theme. So yeah, it's like a computer generated kit almost. Here we are in Peru again, and this thing here, just like what? It's just gratuitous. And then this wall, this megalithic wall in Peru, uh, ignoring these damage patterns and surface details for a moment, the sheer awkwardness of that. But as we pan to the right here, we see this uh, blocked up doorway, which may never have been an actual door. And uh, yeah, this knob agrees, and so does this wonky meandering edge of this quasi attempt at a raised center portion. All right, Peru again. I think this is called Amara Muru or something like that. It's this big door. I think this is about as tall as a person, so this pretty tall, 20 or 30 feet or more maybe. And uh, the uneven edges here. See like how this is very poorly configured. This like this looks like quite the uh, endeavor or undertaking to create this thing. But then <laughs> contrast that with the sheer uh, sloppiness of the orientation of these edges. Like this is kind of a right angle, but then it's like it's very tweaked out and. Uh, Derpy. Okay. Burma, uh, all these temples, I would say a higher degree of difference from a lot of the other places. So you might suspect it's a, an actual different culture or something like that. But we still see all the same motifs. We see the nested doorways with the variations at each iteration, you know, uh, like this is reminiscent of Puma Punku or Tiwanaku in Bolivia, just the, the nested doorways which vary at each iteration. And then again, the idea here of the partial archways, <laughs> very blatant here. This one's pretty damning because these quite obviously never went across to anything. Like this is looking like a partial archway or a former archway or the remains of an, a former archway. But look, where did it go to? Across to nowhere over here? I don't think so. Same thing like right here, possibly. But uh, just the idea of fractality and nesting and just geometric themes kind of spat out of an algorithm. Purposeless spires. A lot of people suspect that these were like ancient energy devices, but nope. They may be made to look like that's a plausible explanation by design. Like this certainly looks like an antenna. And it may even function as one to some degree, but I'm saying that that is not their primary function in my somewhat humble opinion. I think they're just derp, which uh, straddles multiple possible explanations. So I think the main thing to take away from this image is the uh, partial archways, because that's so in your face, I would say. Like, look at this column, how stupid. Right? And not that there wasn't uh, cultural diffusion and all that, but I don't think it explains this. Okay, and so let's compare these partial arches in Burma with this, let's revisit Trier, Germany real quick. These little guys right here. So I'm saying this is the same type of phenomenon as this here. So same author, same style, just a slightly different aesthetic variation. So yeah, these little guys never went to anywhere. This was not an arch to somewhere. This is a fake arch. So again, the varying levels of plausibility, like I would say in this one in Germany, this is a much more plausible or believable feature. Like, I could almost believe that this was an actual arch, even though it still stinks a little bit, but this one stinks a lot. Like, this one's much more obvious. So we have varying levels of how well these features are camouflaged or uh, 
disguised or contexted, if that makes sense. I don't know if contexted is a word, but the geometrical themes and architectural themes, they are contexted slightly differently at each site, but it's the, the through line or the, uh, the similarities there are enough to link them as a common project in my opinion. So these are slightly different looking than the uh, one in Germany, but they're more blatant, I would say, because you can't really make the case that they ever connected to something. They just don't look that way. They look premeditated as rubble or remains of an arch. Unless it's like, for show? I mean, I think it's more of a truth drop. So again, one more look at the Germany ones. Same thing, just slightly different. Okay. And last site here. I really like this one. Uh, Velziki, Belgium. Not sure how to pronounce that, but we've got this archway here. Okay. This one here, blocked up. Okay. And... This one here with one, two, three arches uh, or depth levels. And like you see this accent here, like what? <laughs> and like this here, like it's all um, a uh, intertwine of derp, which is very strategically and cleverly woven to make it look as though it may have been an actual organic process of construction and reconstruction. So, again, sim very similar themes here, just the blocked up archway. And these ones, again, are halfway up a wall. This one, especially like way up here, was this ever a legit window? It may have been, but again, the idea of stopping halfway or, mm, it's obviously not halfway up, but it kind of abruptly stops being filled in at uh, right here and then square holes anyone and then uh, this what may have been a doorway at some point but I doubt it and then another thing with these uh, like from medieval times and onward we have these walls and buttresses which collide with each other in very abrupt awkward ways like even even this, like this angle here, it's kind of an awkward, I don't know, maybe it's a chimney or something, but some of these walls and buildings, they are they just slam into each other without transition. Okay, next image. So this looking a little awkward. Again, just awkward variations. And then I think this is the last image. And quite funny, we have this one here and then it yet another one in the middle, like a mini one. So is this two phases of uh, restoration and re-restoration? Uh, or like, was it somebody being indecisive? Or yeah, I think it's just derp or like a joke, like somebody's joke. Like, look what we can put right in front of your faces and you don't see it. Look how long we can get away with it. Something like that. So there's this other arch here. Similar idea. And anything else I need to point out? Sometimes you can see, like, a very faint indication or slight indication of a, like, a 2% arch-like feature in the surrounding brickwork or stonework. So like this is almost like the path of the, the stones, like the, I think right here. So it's like the path of the stones here is almost a 2% uh, manifested arch. So it's like a very likely just regular brickwork, assuming that's what all this is. But then the trajectory of it is slightly suggestive but certainly not definitive in terms of calling it a variation on the arch. But uh, yeah, I think the, all these stones were placed by some type of high technology, to be honest. And then 
interspersed in within the, the whole thing are little tiny indications or partial recycles of the or reuses of the various motifs. So like this is almost a partial curve there. That may be a bit of a stretch. We'll see. I don't know. And then again the awkward and uh, on a personal note, um, when I visited, uh, I can't remember which castle exactly it was, but in Romania, this castle we took a tour of, like Dracula's castle or whatever, uh, or Vlad the Impaler or something like that. And um, I just remember thinking like, like no one would ever build anything like this. <laughs> like, this is a complete this absurd creation, like just the the sh the meandering, uh, poorly or like not level and wandering stonework, the derpy proportions and wandering edges and uneven floor. Like I just rem remember thinking that it was a total like WTF, like kind of shock. I definitely hadn't put two and two together back then. That was like five or like eight years ago or something. But yeah, sums up with castles and the whole world and reality. <laughs> All right, so that's been uh, the various types of anomalies on Earth's surface. Um, and this was the architecture edition and the... Uh, Arches and Doorways edition of the Architecture edition. <laughs>